Hello, today we'll be going over AP Physics C Unit 3, more specifically the relation between work and force. Now before we learn that work equals force times distance, but this is not really the case, well at least not always, this is only true if the force applied is constant over the distance. So the true formula for work actually equals the integral of force with respect to distance. So W equals integral of F dx. So why does the force time distance equation work then? Well, let's look at a graph of force versus distance where the force always stays constant, creating this straight line that goes horizontally. Now we know that work is integral of force or area under the graph. And we get force times distance since it is a rectangle. And that's why force times distance works. But what if the force isn't constant? Well, now the area under the graph is no longer a rectangle, and so force times distance doesn't work anymore. Let's say that force is dictated by the line 2D. So that would create a curve, well not a curve, but a straight line that has a slope of 2. And now the area under the graph is a triangle. So say we want the work from d equals 0 to d equals 4. That means that the work would be the area under the graph. And so since it is a triangle, we will do 1 half times 4 times 8. This would be the work done over time. Now, these questions also come up in AP Physics 1 and C. And all you have to remember is that this is just the area under the graph. Now let's look at potential energy. Since we know that work is the integral of force, we can also figure out that the potential energy's equation will look very similar to that. And you would be correct. U, or potential energy, equals the negative integral of force dx. So the negative sign can be a little bit confusing, but my best reasoning is that potential energy is sort of the opposite of work, since it's the work that's yet to be done. So if someone does all the work, there's no more potential energy left. But if someone has done none of the work, there's maximum potential energy. So that's why it's negative. So why is this important? Well, a common graph you will encounter is a potential energy versus distance graph, in which you may be asked what the force on an object at a certain point is. Well, since we know that the potential energy is the integral of force, we can assume that the force is the derivative of potential energy. More specifically, force equals negative du dx, with x being distance and u being potential energy. So if we look at a similar graph from last time, except with the y-axis now being potential energy, we can deduce that the force at any point in the graph will be negative 2 newtons, since the slope at any point in the graph is 2. So at any point in the potential energy versus distance graph, the force will be the negative slope of the graph. Now for the last topic, let's look at this parabola graph here. When the object is in the middle, there are no net forces acting upon it, since it is a potential energy versus distance graph. Since the slope is zero, the force is also zero. However, as we move along the graph, the force becomes a bigger and bigger negative number pushing it back with more and more force to where it was. This is called a stable equilibrium because as you move away from the equilibrium position, there are forces that force it back into its equilibrium position. This can be visualized with this minecart and rail where no matter how far I push it back, some force will push it to the middle. Now let's look at the same parabola but flipped along the y-axis. Now when we move when we move right to the graph, the force pushing it pushes it away stronger and stronger as we push it away. So this is called an unstable e equilibrium because as I go further and further away from the equilibrium, the force just continues to push more and more away from the equilibrium. So this can be modeled by this minecart where the slightest push sends it completely off. Now for the last example, we'll be using a flat line. This is called a neutral equilibrium. This equilibrium is when there are no net forces no matter where the object is, which is just a flat rail for this minecart. No matter where I push it, no forces act on it. Now hopefully this tutorial helped, 
and yeah that's it